Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hitchhike and Yeti here and today we have us a little cool adventure. We're here in Randolph County and we got another covered bridge original. One of two original covered bridges here in the state of North Carolina. We're seeing the second one today. So let's go over here and check this out. This place is called the Pisgah Covered Bridge. So let's go look at it. So one thing I'll go ahead and say about the Pisgah Covered Bridge, it is very similar looking to the Bunker Hill Bridge that I'm here seeing it in person. They was both uh, pretty much, you know, built in the same time period. So here is the Pisgah Covered Bridge here in Randolph County. This historic structure was one of North Carolina's two remaining covered bridges. It was built in 1911 at a cost of $40. The bridge is 54 feet in length and crosses the West Fork Branch of the Little River within the Urari National Forest. I hope I'm saying that right. So this covered bridge is a direct connection to the county's past mode of transportation here. And that would be horse and wagon, believe it or not, were common in these parts. Way before the automobile travel was an everyday thing. So the first thing I really have to say that I love about the Pisgah Bridge is you didn't got to walk very far through the woods to get to it. This is actually the highway right here behind me. So you actually have like a parking area right across the way there. As you can see, right, let me zoom in a little bit. You can actually see my wife over there walking around, but you can see the parking area and right here is the bridge. And right here is the highway. So it's very easy to get to, even if you had any kind of disability where you wasn't really good at walking trails and, and getting to places, this place is very friendly for that. So you always keep that in mind if you're in the area and you wanna check this place out. It is right off the highway. So it, the accessibility to this place is really, really good for just about anybody, I would say. Sitting here looking at the, at the top of the bridge and you can see like a moss that's growing on those old shingles up there. So I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's take a walk across the covered bridge and check it out. So we have 54 feet across is the length. And uh, right out of the bat, I can already see that vandals have uh, marked their territory. This bridge is over a hundred years old. And when you see places like this, you have to wonder like, it lasted this long will it be the people that destroys them forever and other people will not be able to enjoy them in the future is that the road we might be going so one thing i was really wanting to compare about these two bridges the bunker hill bridge and the pisgah bridge was when i was at the covered bridge they had a lot more documentation on the bridge and how it was built and things of that nature and this bridge don't really have any kind of documentation here at all. So I had to actually go online just to read up a little bit of factual stuff to give you on this. But at the Bunker Hill Bridge, that bridge was built in a time period where they had like wood pins that, you know, kind of put the structure together. And you could actually see those wooden pins. There was no nails or anything. But here, you know, it was this was in 1911. Bunker Hill was maybe 10 years earlier roughly roundabout i can't remember the exact date but here everything is like these nails or wood tacks and things like that and i don't know if this was all original like that i mean right here's a bolt you know and i'm just trying to figure out when they i don't know what shape this bridge was when they refurbished it you know and i think in 1999 they reopened it so I don't know how original all this stuff is to this day. Is it the same? Did they try to keep it the same? I mean, look at all these nails here. And right here is some more of those old, there's like tacks, wood tacks or something. So now that we took a little stroll through the bridge, I got a little walkway here off to the side. We're actually gonna walk down this to the water's edge and look underneath it. some rocks kind of pretty down here look at all these old rocks and stuff i would imagine this is a, a haven for the dreaded mosquitoes in the summertime some really nice rock work beneath this bridge
look like we have a lot of new boards beneath the bridge here making the walkway I would imagine they had to do quite extensive upgrades to this bridge years ago when they remodeled it because you know that's not original <laughs> that's in really good shape to be over 100 years old live close to this bridge and you've ever visited it before like pre before it was fixed up i'd be curious to know put in the comment section down below to give me an idea of what it was like then if you ever experienced that or anything because a lot of this stuff i mean it's an old looking bridge and all but you can really see a lot of you know upgrades done to it and that's one thing is it seems a lot different between how this one was refurbished and how the one in bunker hill or the Bunker Hill Bridge refurbished in Claremont, just outside of Hickory. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a nice bridge, and it's really nice and everything. But I do, it does look a little bit more modern uh, when you look at the, you know, you look at it a little closer. So, if you come down here to the Pisgah Cover Bridge, do not forget they have a trail off to the left-hand side of the bridge. I have some signage over here. It talks about the uh, the restoration project made possible by gifts from the following generous supporters. Right here's all the names of the people who helped bring it back to life. Even the North Carolina Zoological Park is on there. 1999. Right when the trail begins, we have us another little bridge where you can have quite a nice little uh, view of this brook. This little river creek that goes down through here. West Fork and it looks like they have quite a few little stop offs on this trail where you can walk down to the water's edge maybe take you some pictures or who knows maybe have a little picnic I just met a couple uh, that, that brought some sandwiches and stuff down here and they're just down here having a little picnic hanging out at the covered bridge it's a very beautiful day out today This is really a good path, has a little bit of gravel on it, but a nice touch to it that I really enjoy on this little path is just this. The little railroad ties that they have kind of, you know, showing you where the path goes and look at the, the old green moss growing on it. It just gives it a little extra charm when you're walking a path like this. One thing I'm quite impressed with on this little trail is you would think the mosquitoes would be eating you alive back here. And I don't know if it's just the time of day that I'm here, which is probably around about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Um, no mosquitoes at all. Uh, so if you ever come here and you have to battle mosquitoes, I love to hear from you just to see how bad it gets. Because you would think it would be really bad with all this water and all this green thick foliage everywhere. And it does have like a dampness back here too. And as we make our loop on this trail, we have us another bridge that goes back across the creek. And see here, that's some of the same type of hardware that I'm seeing on that bridge. That's what I'm talking about. So if I do say so myself, this tree right here has been blown over in a storm in the past. And that is quite the impressive root system, if I do say so myself. I mean, the roots on this thing is taller than me, you know, from the ground up. I would say that's probably close to seven feet. That was massive. That was monstrous. You know, that made a crash. And just like that, that's a nice little trail. Very short trail, so don't be afraid to walk down it if you want to. It's very quick. Probably don't even take you about a five-minute walk, if that. Not even that much, because I stopped a few times. But brings you out on the other side, and then you can walk back through the bridge and go back to your car. So uh, that works out pretty good. And don't worry, I'm not going to make any kind of jokes about the Headless Horseman and... Uh, 
Sleepy Hollow Bridge or anything in this video. So y'all are lucky. Y'all are safe today from my bad jokes. <laughs> All right, friends, that will pretty much do it for our vlog today. This is the Pisgah Covered Bridge here in Randolph County, North Carolina. Had a great time today. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like today's content, give it a thumbs up. And if you've ever been here to visit the bridge, please put in the comments section down below what you thought about it. Until next time, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti, and I will see you guys in the next video. Everyone stay safe.